Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 15th of 2023. Well, it is titled air glow sky over France. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is called air glow. Now air glow is a little bit different although uh, than the aurora, which is another glow that we see in the sky. The difference with the air glow is that it can be seen everywhere. So you don't have to be at far northerly latitudes. The process is somewhat similar, except the difference in this case is that air glow is caused by particles of light from the sun and not other particles such as protons and electrons, actual pieces of matter. So those are the, the proton the electrons are what cause the aurora charged particles from the sun that strike the Earth's magnetic field and are funneled down toward the poles. Here the air glow we see in this shimmering glow, uh, especially off to the right hand side, we see is caused by the uh, photons from the sun that excite atoms in the atmosphere and cause them to glow. Now the air glow isn't the only thing visible in this image and let's label a few other things here. And we see working from the air glow on the right, we see down, down below and just over the horizon, the Andromeda galaxy, the most distant object that can be seen with the naked eye at about two and a half million light years away. And again, think about what that means. That means we see it not as it is today, but as it appeared two and a half million years ago. However, since galaxies don't change much in two and a half million years, it likely looks pretty much the same. Now, as we work our way toward the middle of the image, we see the California Nebula, an example of an emission nebula, glowing red hydrogen gas. Below that and to the left, we see the Pleiades star cluster, a cluster of blue stars. Uh, that is a very young star cluster. And up above that, we see the red planet Mars. Now, stars have colors based on their temperature. Planets have colors based on what they are made up of. So Mars gets its color from the iron oxide in its soil, whereas the Pleiades stars get their color because they are extremely hot stars. Up above all of this, we see the Milky Way galaxy arcing across the sky. And that is our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. And we can see all of the bright star clouds and dark dust clouds of the Milky Way arcing from the lower left up to the top in the middle and then down towards the lower right. Further to the left, we see the Orion Nebula. Orion Nebula, one of the nearest large star forming regions to us. And we can see a lot of the glow, the red glow in the area, not just the nebula itself, but also the glow in surrounding areas, part of the Orion star forming region, which are also emission nebulae and glowing with that red glow associated with the hydrogen gas. And finally, off to the far left is the star Sirius. And that is the brightest star in the sky, of course, after our own sun. And certainly the brightest star in the night sky and prominently visible in the winter sky. So here we get to see all of this over the Chateau de Los of in France. So that was our picture of the day for February 15th of 2023. It was titled Air Glow Sky over France. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Heart and Soul. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.